Hey, this is Tom with uh, Outdoor Alchemy. I was just goofing around out in the yard, backyard here, and uh, got out my old K-Bar. It's 1273, I think it's called the Dozer. And I was just wondering how it would do with camp chores. So I was cutting up some feather sticks with it and stuff, and uh, a piece of wood I was making the feather stick out of, I looked at it and was like, hey, that kind of looks like a spoon. Or I could make a spoon out of it. So I went ahead and used a dozer to start carving up a spoon. Now with this huge, long blade, it's kind of difficult to do fine work. But uh, let you see how I carved in there to make the bowl of the spoon. Basically, all I did was sit back in my easy chair here, put the spoon down on the stump, hold it with my foot, and I don't want to put it in there now, but just act like I was making a bowl for a friction fire. Well, he just used the tip and, and cut it out real good. Now, that's a pretty ugly spoon and it probably wouldn't feel too good if he used it. But what I'm thinking is, I'll get some coals from a fire. And I've done this before to make bowls and stuff. Just use some coals to help smooth it out. I guess I can't hardly call this my K-Bar spoon unless I get my K-Bar knife to get the fire going to make the bowl. Well, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's dished out a little better, a little smoother. You have to wonder about my sanity to even do this. But there's the bowl here, it's kind of smoothed out. That's got to be doing something for me. Pretty cool. I'll dress it up a little bit here.
now I fire hardened the wood, right? So I might end up with a spoon. It's not the prettiest spoon. Well, I've been sitting here like a crazy person, carving away on the spoon. Um, it's turned out pretty nice. Got a nice deep bowl there. Um, Spoon-like taper underneath here. So, yes, I can carve a spoon with a K-Bar Dozer 1275 blade. Good morning everybody. This is Tom from Outdoor Alchemy. Um, yesterday I spent a good couple of hours making a spoon with a K-Bar knife. Um, the Dozer. Now I know what you're thinking. You're expecting some great big honking ugly spoon you're not going to get that from me. Wait till you see this spoon. Stay with me. And now for the unveiling of the K-Bar spoon. I bet it's not what you expected. It's not some big clunky looking spoon. It actually turned out quite delicate. It's got a long thin handle. The spoon area, the bowl as I've been calling it. It's roughly about thumb shaped. Um, I got it down pretty thin, actually quite usable as a spoon. Um, you can see the blackness, the burned in bowl, okay. I had to do that because it's quite difficult to do fine carving with a 7 inch K-bar blade. So I have all the tools laid out here that I used, okay. Obviously I used the knife to carve it. I used the flint and steel to build the fire. Built the fire so that I'd have the charcoal so I could put it in the bowl. And then I used that charcoal to help me smooth out and deepen the dish of the bowl. Okay. I also used a stone as a piece of sandpaper to carve out the bowl. Just working it back and forth, and side to side. And that helped me to carve it out and smooth it out better. Once again, because I wasn't using a spoon carving knife. So there it is. When I'm finished with my spoons, what I usually do, what I always do, in fact, is rub, hand rub a finish into it using olive oil. Now a spoon's ready to be used. It's not perfectly symmetrical, kind of goes that way, ears to the right, which make it perfect for a left-handed user. So maybe my daughter will end up with it. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, click like. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tom and my channel is Outdoor Alchemy. Have a great day.